I had the coolest night uh, like two nights ago. What'd you do? So I got invited uh, from Tag Hoyer to go to this like little dinner setup arrangement thing. And I was like, oh, that sounds really cool. Like um, I'm definitely down. Uh, so I show up. I had no idea really what it was going to be. They just said like it's a, a dinner and it was for the Gray Man movie coming out and uh, that has Ryan Gosling in it. Yes. So Ryan is basically the face of Tag Heuer now. And I thought somebody else was the face of Tag Heuer. They just got Jacob uh, Elordi too. Oh, so he's it's they're both like the the two oh, main, got it, got it, got it, uh, okay. people. Must be nice. <laughs> but uh we walk into this house and as soon as I walk through the front door, I see Ryan Gosling standing there. <gasps> and I literally went like this. <laughs> oh, and I just walked straight to the back. I was like, oh my God. Like a gulp and like an eye roll, yeah. but like out of just disbelief. Yeah, I just couldn't believe, I just didn't expect him to be there. Um, so I walk around the back and then I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh my God. And then I, I, I rounded the corner and I saw him again. You know how celebrities, you, you, I don't know if it's something that we tell ourselves, but it's like, oh, they don't look that good in person there. It's, it's the movies, it's makeup, it's this, it's whatever. This guy was better looking in person than in movies. I oh, was yeah. absolutely blown away. It's not even photogenic. He it's just, just good it was, at every angle you look yeah. at. Him. Yeah. And you can tell he's just he's like he'll he's gonna be young forever. He like, he doesn't even look like he has work done on his face. He's so cool. Like he is that charming, cool, just smooth dude. Were you person. at a resident? You were at like it was a house. house. Oh, yeah. and he's just walking around. And it was like was a dinner. Chatty? Like, yeah, he was talking. Um, but it was like a dinner and there was like 30 of us. Do you think you could have had a moment with him though? Like gotten up and I, talked to him? I, I could Oh, he I was just, at the dinner? Yes. Oh, literally sitting like a couple chairs away. Oh, like, I thought you were talking about the the premiere. No, so the the premiere was the next day, and we got saw him again. Got it, got it, got but it. But I was literally sitting there, and he's just like eating, and I'm I, I I couldn't stop looking at him. It was the weirdest thing. That's the worst. Is like when you do see someone, and you're like, <gasps> like you just keep you can't take your eyes off of it. Yeah, and just like you're probably know, watching out everything cool. you did, the way you're sitting, the way you're. Eating. I started eating like him. <laughs> watching <laughs> i would do the same thing but yeah it was absolutely insane i've never felt like that way around a celebrity yeah. before starstruck and then we saw him again the next night at the gray man premiere and <gasps> same just walked in but like hey from same dinner. exact feeling hey good to see you again <laughs> <laughs> what i bet he would come on unfiltered oh, oh god and, and the uh, <laughs> i was like finish that sentence quick <laughs> Uh, and the Russo brothers were at the dinner next to me. Oh, the Russo brothers who did... Uh, who directed and, the movie. Yes. I, I don't even know what they look like. The Russo um, brothers. But I know they did... What? They did the Avengers and all that Endgame, shit? Endgame, Infinity War. Um, the Russo brothers. That's them. Oh, gosh. Those guys... You can tell those guys make movies. Oh, they yeah. seal deals. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> those guys are on the phone all the time oh, making Matt, shit Oh, kind of looks like you on the left. You think so? Yeah. Oh, I'll take it. Insane, though. They are killing it. Starstruck. And how was the movie the next time? <laughs> Um, so I didn't get to finish it. We got through um, maybe like half of it because we had to come back here to do the high episode. Oh. Um, so I'm really bummed I didn't get to finish it. But like the whole beginning was amazing. Yeah. Uh, so and I'm really Chris excited. Chris Evans was there. Chris oh yeah, Evans Chris Evans was it. at the premiere too. Yeah. So we saw them on the carpet. Obviously there was like this pre-party on the carpet. Um, so everyone's eating and drinking. And then we all went inside and we had perfect seats for like an exit. We were in the back left corner, yeah. like in that first section. And we were by like a, like right next to stairs. Uh -huh. And the cast, when they were being introduced, were waiting on the steps. So Chris Evans was like leaning against the bar that I was leaning against. And I was just like. <laughs> you go to Heath, you're like, should I, go, should I go up to him? Should I say hi? Should I give him my number? <laughs> I just looked at Heath, I was like, please don't pull out your phone. Don't, don't film, don't film. Nobody take pictures, please, please, please. I just want to. Please don't even have this moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was cool. But yeah, he's right. Like Ryan Gosling in person is he It just, doesn't make sense. He doesn't even have to open his mouth. He's just so charming. Like all the characters that he plays, like that's who he it is. It really is him. And he's very I mean, we didn't talk to him, but he's very nice to everybody. Like he was really just like a nice normal guy. It was so yeah. strange that they were right there. Do you know who Fran Drescher is? Who played the nanny? Do you remember that yeah. sitcom, no. The Nanny? Oh, oh wow. yeah, the yeah. Nanny. The, the, the curly hair. Curly yeah, yeah, big yeah. hair. Like, uh, this isn't even that cool if you don't even know who she is. But when Patricia and I, we got invited to go see Moulin Rouge, the Broadway musical. It's now in LA. Yeah. And we got to go to like a little cocktail happy hour event before. And I was there and I saw this older lady and I go, that woman kind of looks like Fran Drescher. And like Patricia's like, the nanny lady? I'm like, yeah. Anyways, we go to the event. We go to the red carpet. You know, red carpet. You have to like go up. They go, what's your name? They look you up. Yeah. They have a headshot and they like got to do it. 
I'm like right there in line and Fran Drescher comes right up to me. She like grabs my arm and she's like, how are you? And I'm like, great. What? How are you? It's so good to see you. She's like, I'm doing just fine. And then she goes like right before me and Patricia and I look at each other and Patricia's like, you know, the nanny. And I'm like, no, not at all. I don't know if she thought I was some other celebrity or if she was just being really nice. I think she, she was to skipping you. I think, you, I, <laughs> but, I think because you're in the front of the line, you're next. So she was being but nice. The way if you were there and the way she talked to me, it was like we had known each other for years kind of a thing. Yeah. I don't even, I just wanted to share this because Patricia and I were like, I don't think I've never met Fran Drescher and she thinks I'm, I'm somebody else. Like, I don't know. She's iconic. Maybe she thought oh. I was Ryan Gosling. <laughs> you never know. Ryan Gosling. You never know. Heath and I skip the red carpets because we're so Oh, I hate I red carpets. I can't do it. I can't do it. No, and when, even no. when it comes down to it, that picture comes out, I'm like, nope, it's the worst. No, 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 we also, we also been, don't, we don't never, know how to pose together. Yeah, so Heath is like, how should we pose? I'm like, do we have to? And some guy was like, you don't have to. You can go down there. And we're like, skip. I'm not going absolutely not it's if, too much pressure they tell us we don't have to we're not doing it. and i don't want to do an interview with somebody who yeah. does not even know who i am and they're like so matt king well you excited about moulin rouge and like you have to act like you're this important person you're like it's not it's not my night it's yeah. not my night you know who was soaking up the carpet <laughs> and everyone's like get off the stage <laughs> move it along the selling sunset brother oh, of course. Still up and oh, of course. it's so funny <laughs> they they walked back and forth like 50 yeah, times they're everywhere they were huh? on there for like an hour it was so <laughs> it was so funny you know that would have been us back in the vine days back and forth just waiting just oh waiting. really that's the photo so op they i think they want other celebrities to recognize them yeah, too. yeah. Cause that's their clientele. I remember we walked in one of those places. I don't know if I talked about it right now, but uh, there, all of us and David, we walked into the Oppenheim group and that's Selling Sunset, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Is it, they what? were just really mean. Oppenheim. They were really mean to us. Oppenheim? Oppenheim. Um, I was thinking of Oppenheimer. Like the I, guy I think it, I think it is. No, who made right, the Oppen atom bomb. Oh. Josh Beck's Different movie, family. Oppenheimer. The guy who invented the atom bomb? No. I'm the creator is of it, the Is evil. it a new movie? Yeah. Oh, well. I, okay, you know, I anyways, I, I was that, like, I are they related yet. to the uh, like, Oppenheimer? No, like, no, I think it's just their last name the or smoke whoever. Keeps coming oh, out I'm of your sorry, mouth. can like, you see it? Yeah, oh. the whole time. Oh, I'm bad. <laughs> He's on stop. fire. <laughs> sorry, because I'm. I, just spitting facts, just straight heat. <laughs> okay. Straight heat. Yeah, I thought it was Oppenheimer, like the father of the atom bomb. Go ahead, though. You were saying you, you walked into the office. Oh, they were just there. nasty, just nasty. Really? I, I, yeah, I, I think I think I don't even think we were filming, but David had the camera in his hand. He wasn't filming at all. And um, we walked up to the guy and he I wish I, 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 I why are you laughing? It's just, no, funny. It's, it's, it's just funny. I think I think he just says, hey, blah, blah, blah. I think he asked either if somebody was there or not. And he was just. I think he saw the camera and just immediately got really nasty because he thought we were going to film in there, oh. but we weren't going to film in there. But he was just nasty. Sorry, that, that's just the that's, that's the your... fucking story. That he they were very nasty to us when we walked. That's in. all I hear. I'm sorry. Yeah. I do love the show though. I'm guilty. They're businessmen. Watching it. They I are. feel like once you get to that point, you don't even need to sell houses. Like yeah, they're crazy. entertainers you, at this point. You went and looked at a house in Christine. Bentley was showing. That was, yeah. Hold on, we're, who was looking? That was your house. Uh, it was at? one that I was looking at. Yeah. Um, but that was that was a while ago now. Oh, um, she forgot. Yeah, she <laughs> she she pulled up in the uh, in the Lambo with blood splatter all down the side. <laughs> it was like oh, decal, gosh. but it did not look good. I at was all. just like, oh god. Like even if you aren't, you know, you know what I mean. Like I it's get. It's probably not even her car. Like I feel like it's people like that, they're just given cars to drive around for like a month or a week probably. with a weird decal on it because. Yeah. It's like already like a, a moving ad. And if you never right. heard the story, she had them waiting for two hours. She was late and then she finally showed up and she forgot the key. And yeah. they were like, forget it. Like, right. <laughs> we didn't it. even get to see the inside, did we? No. 